The overdose epidemic continues hitting southern New England very hard right now. First responders in New Bedford have been especially busy just over the last few days. Now medical professionals are getting involved trying to put a stop to the problem. Eyewitness News reporter Perry Russum joining us now from New Bedford with the details that are new this morning. A man was found dead in a fishing boat by the docks of New Bedford on Thursday. Police records show it's a suspected overdose. We counted at least a dozen overdoses in the city just this week. New Bedford police say a man's body was found in the galley of a fishing boat docked here at Coal Pocket Pier. The police log shows it was a possible drug overdose. Two hours later, police records tell us there was an overdose on Belleville Avenue. In three days, there have been a dozen recorded drug overdoses in the city. Yeah, New Bedford has uh, struggled like many of the other small cities in Massachusetts and including Boston. On Wednesday, police say there were a total of six overdoses with four happening in four hours. First here at the public library downtown, then in a bathroom at an addiction clinic. Fifteen minutes later, a man was found on Princeton Street. And finally, a woman was saved at Sunshine Plaza. Narcan was used to save their lives. We as a community own this problem together in order to make the changes necessary. Dr. Michael Rocha is a part of two groups looking to turn the tide on the city's opioid crisis. Physicians to prevent opioid abuse and nurses to prevent opioid abuse. Their goals are to be advocates for what needs to change, educate the public, and have the highest level of prescription practice. We've really tried to mobilize forces quickly because we recognize that this problem needs to be dealt with now. We're not going to have time to wait for this to be solved, you know, all at once, but we have to start someplace. Rocha tells us next weekend they will have a walk and a health fair at Buttonwood Park to educate people on opioid abuse. I'm Perry Russell, Eyewitness News.